Ash Sagafi, Liberty Home Mortgage. What are we talking about today? Mortgage lending guidelines for college graduates. You just graduated from college. You've got this degree. You've worked really hard on this. One of the things you want to do is you want to buy a house. Now, if you're a college grad, listen to this scenario. I graduated nursing school in December of 2022. Passed my boards, did the whole nine yards. I'm ready to rock and roll. I signed a contract with the Mayo Clinic to begin working at the Mayo Clinic on February 1st. And my salary is... $35 an hour, I'm gonna work 36 hours a week, three twelves full time. I've got the employment agreement, the offer letter, they gave it to me. It's January 15th right now, whatever date it is, whatever. I didn't start yet, can I buy a home? What we do in the mortgage industry is, we will use your time in school as your employment history. I always tell people this, there's basically three levels of employment in the mortgage industry. There's three levels. There's you want to be on the, on the job for two years. That's just cut and dry. You want two years on the job. But a college graduate, here's your problem. You're sitting here saying, Hesh, like, I went, like, I've been in school. Like, I've never worked or I've worked, you know, I've worked at Pizza Hut for goodness sake and whatever. Now I'm a nurse and I haven't even started the job yet. So the exception that the college grads get is the first one is you want to be two years, same job, okay? Then you want two years in the same line of work. Now this is where your college degree comes in. So two years in the same line of work is very acceptable. So what we do is this. We say, okay, you've been in nursing school for two years. We take your offer letter, we take that, I get your college transcripts and your degree. So we see what your degree is in. I don't care about your grades. I care about your start and your finish date. We take that degree, we tie it into what you're gonna be doing, and I can immediately use that income. Like for example, I'm gonna make $35 an hour working 36 hours a week. A lot of nurses work three twelves, it's 36 hours, that's full time. Um, a lot of other nurses in other places will work 40 hours a week, but some work three twelves and it's 36 hours is normal for that industry. So what we do is, is we take $35 an hour times 36 hours a week times 52 weeks, divided out by 12 months, and that's gonna come up to, I'm just gonna completely make a number up, it's out of my calculator with me, of course. Let's just pretend that's four or $5,000 a month gross. You have never made that amount of money in your life. You haven't even started the job yet. But that's the exception or the calculation we will use to qualify you for a loan. We do consider your time in school as an employment history. We tie it into your job and then we take that income and we annualize the income. We take it and calculate, well, what's it gonna be in a year? Then we break that down to what's it gonna be per month. So you could be graduating college right now with a degree in accounting and say, Hesh, I'm gonna go work as an accountant at XYZ company. They're gonna pay me a salary of 70 grand. Great, give me the offer letter, give me your college degree, give me your transcripts, your diploma, so I could tie all that together, you're fine. There's so many degrees out there. Let's just pretend you're a business major and you say, Hesh, I'm gonna go work in the pharmaceutical industry and my base pay is 70 grand a year and then I get paid commissions. Now watch this one. Your degree's in business, marketing and sales. Cool, I could tie that into the pharmaceutical industry all day long. So that ties in, give me your transcripts, your degree, your diploma, whatever. We tie it into the, the job, the offer letter, but here's the catch. I can use the base pay, but I cannot use the commissions. First of all, if you're just starting at a pharmaceutical company, you ain't making commissions for a while, but I can't use the commissions, the overtime, the bonuses, things like that. I can't use it if you're just starting that job. I can use your base. So again, if your degree is in business, sales, marketing, if you're a school teacher, you just graduated with a degree in education, a lot of people graduate in May from college, you know, it's May, they graduate, with a degree in education, and then they're a school teacher, and the school year starts at the end of August, and they have their offer letter, their salary is gonna be $50,000 a year starting, and they wanna buy a house. We can use that $50,000, we tie it into their degree, we tie it back to the offer letter, we use that income, it's an annual income, broken down monthly, so $50,000 a year is $4,100, $4,200 a month, give or take just a little bit, it's just over $4,100. So we use that to qualify you. So if you're graduating college and you're sitting here saying, man, I wanna go and jump right into buying a house, you can absolutely do that. You wanna find, you know, hopefully you find the job that ties into your degree and then we can use the base pay for that, the salary, the hourly, it's gotta be full time. If you jump right into a job of pure commission, 
Commission varies in income. I have a lot of videos, and that's why you have to subscribe to my page. You have to check out my other videos on how do we handle variable income and things like that, and then you'll learn that side of it. We could use your base pay, your hourly, your salary, tied in your college degree, and that's how we help college kids get right into houses if that's what you want. So it's very doable, very easy to do, not too hard. Call a great loan officer. If I actually knew one, I might give you their phone number. Who knows? It might be 216-780-1103, but who knows? I do lend in 45 states. So subscribe, like, and share. Feel free to comment, ask any questions, and I'll catch you on the next one.